Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, January 24th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A pro-gay, censored Catholic ministry group is claiming new guidelines on Amoris Laetitia can be applied to LGBT people to allow them to receive Holy Communion. In an article released Monday, New Way's ministry claims the Bishop of Malta's guidelines on the papal exhortation, quote, are transferable to LGBT Catholics and their loved ones, too. The Malta bishops claim in their guidelines that conscience should be the guiding force that allows one to approach for Holy Communion, saying Pope Francis has created space for the forgotten people. Pope Francis has yet to respond to the dubia submitted by the four cardinals. If he remains silent, a public correction is expected sometime soon. The plot thickens in Malta. A Maltese priest has confirmed with church militant that Bishop Mario Grec of the Gozo Diocese threatened to punish priests if they refused to read to their parishes the new Maltese bishop's guidelines, which declare that those in a state of adultery may approach to receive the sacraments. Bishop Grec was co-author of the new guidelines, which purportedly seek to implement Amoris Laetitia, the Pope's apostolic exhortation. Parishioners are expressing outrage as an Anglican youth priest is being removed by a Texas bishop. Father Christopher Phillips, pastor at Our Lady of Atonement Church in San Antonio, the first Anglican youth parish in the United States, was ordered to step down from ministry by Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller. Father Phillips is known to be Orthodox and to offer reverent liturgy. Inside sources are claiming this is just a land grab by the Archbishop, who reportedly does not want the parish joining the Anglican ordinariate. A Michigan priest wore a feminist cat hat during a Saturday homily, the same day as the Women's March in Washington, D.C. Father William Lugger of the Diocese of Lansing wore the hat in solidarity with a feminist protest, offering a political homily that was later challenged by Catholics. Justifying the hat, Father Lugger said on Facebook that his homily was a challenge to people in the ways of the gospel of Jesus. An online petition has since begun asking that Lugger step down as pastor for causing scandal. More than 50,000 Parisians marched for life on Sunday. France, which kills 220,000 children in the womb annually, is currently considering a bill that would censor pro-life websites, with signs reading, protecting the weak is truly strong. Men, women, and children marched through the city streets in a display of pro-life solidarity. A spokesperson for the group lamented that abortion has become commonplace. The march comes just a few months before France will elect a new president, with conservative Catholic François Fillon, supported by traditional Catholics, still in the lead. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the meaning of Catholic. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the church militant movement. Please share headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.